Juan Lamont Pavillon III. If you don't get your scrawny butt down here, I'm gonna come up there and beat the black off of you, boy. <laughs> Toastmasters of the day, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests in the back. If you don't know, I'm gonna fill you in on a little something. Anytime your mama or your dad call your full government name like that, it's about to go down. And I was no exception. But for me, it started with three questions. Three questions that apparently I could never get right. Because no matter what my response was, I was getting a slap by my mama's house shoe. The first question went like this. Usually went a little like this. Boy, didn't I tell you not to go upstairs and play them video games until you cleaned off this table and washed these dishes? Didn't I tell you that? Yeah, mama. <laughs> now, as a child over the years, question number two is when I came to the conclusion that, you know what, maybe I was born with this uncurable, debilitating, crippling condition that I was probably going to have to live the rest of my life with. Question number two went like this. I can't think for the life of me, boy. What is your problem? What's wrong with you? Why are you so hard-headed? That's right, folks. As far back as I can remember, I have always been diagnosed with being hard-headed. <laughs> I know some hard-headed kids. I know we got some old, some hard-headed kids in here. I know y'all was probably the ones. And you know what? The more I think about this, this hard-headed condition might actually be hereditary. Because all three of my kids got full-blown hard-headed. <laughs> but as you think of this, as a child, how am I supposed to answer this question? I don't know where being hard-headed comes from. I don't even think I know what hard-headed means. But it didn't take long to realize that being hard-headed wasn't a good thing. And sure, sure enough, I learned real quick the answer to question number three. We all know the answer to question number three. Question number three went like this. Boy, do you know that a hard head make a soft what? Behind. Behind. Oh yeah, it sure did. I knew that one. But before I could even fix my lips up to, to, to make a sound come out, that house shoe was going 100 miles an hour. Ooh. Look, I don't know about y'all, but I had it rough coming up. And it didn't get easier even as an adult. No, no, not when you want to do and have things your way. Even if it's like me, even if all you desire is to have, to, to provide a better life for your kids than the one that you had. Brother, it's, it's not too much for you to ask to, to live financially free, to earn an honest living, doing something that you enjoy. It's not too much to ask. But what do they say? They say, work hard, you get what you want. But if I was your coach, I'd tell you, it's a problem with that statement. Because it doesn't nearly begin to prepare you for the opposition you will face. It's not gonna prepare you for the cost of having it your way. See, you're gonna have people around you, people in your life, I call them so-called know-it-alls. Ain't never read no book, ain't done no research, don't know a lick about entrepreneurship. Go look at you and tell, got the nerve to tell you, you can't start no business. You're gonna have people in your close inner circle, people that you thought you can trust with sharing your dreams and your goals with. They're gonna know just enough about you to tell you why you can't reach those dreams. How do we deal with that? How do you deal with that? i tell you one thing. Know that God does not make mistakes. Each and every one of you are where you're supposed to be right now for a reason. When you believe in a God like I do, you, a God that creates with purpose, you begin to realize that we've all been created complete with everything necessary and required to fulfill our purpose. Who else but God could use something like being hard-headed, 
work it into his plan for my life and allow it to be used as one of my strongest defenses against those dream killers, them haters that's waiting in line, all them so-called know-it-alls. They don't phase me. And y'all know how I am. I look something up in a heartbeat. Got my dictionary. If you go to dictionary.com and you look up the word hard-headed, the very first definition is say, not easily moved or deceived. How many of you here today are trying to accomplish your goals? You're reaching for your dreams. When the face of opposition, are you easily moved? When those haters, dream killers, so-called know-it-alls start to launch their attack, don't be deceived because you were created for a purpose. And it's nothing no one can say or do to take that away from you. So it's nice to meet you.